guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. As you can see here, I'm going to be showing you how to make this super cute, super tasty oatmeal breakfast that is actually very filling and very healthy for you and takes less than five minutes to create. This is super tasty. I would highly recommend you try this and it's actually extremely good for you. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get right on to it. Okay, so first things first, we're going to start off with some steel cut oats. These are typically healthier than just your regular oats, um, plain steel cut oats specifically but regular oats will do just fine. So you're gonna go ahead and get some boiling hot water and pour it in there. I suggest making it a little bit soupy at first because everything we're gonna be adding in there is gonna thicken it up. And if you don't have enough water, it's gonna be pretty dry. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is get some maple syrup, honey, or agave nectar. Either is fine. Put just a little bit in there for some flavoring. It basically just is like a more natural sweetener. And then just go ahead and mix it up so it's evenly spread out. Next thing we're going to do is get some cinnamon. Now I absolutely love cinnamon, so I add quite a bit of it. You don't necessarily need to go as hardcore as I am, but whatever suits your fancy is going to be just fine. But cinnamon and maple syrup makes a very good flavor combination, let me tell you. So after we're done mixing that up, we're going to go ahead and add some milk. This just helps to make the cinnamon a slightly less spicy and also adds more liquid so this is easier to mix around and doesn't get too thick. You technically don't have to use this. Almond milk and oat milk work just as fine as well. Then we can go on to one of my favorite parts, which is chia seeds. Chia seeds are actually an extreme superfood and are very good for you. I get a whole bunch at Costco, so you can add as much or as little as you want. I usually go for two tablespoons of chia seeds and that's it's a decent amount. Now we get on to our last two parts, which are technically optional, but really add some flavor, and that is blueberries. I add just a little handful of blueberries, and then I mix all of that up. And then our last thing is adding Greek yogurt. Technically, you can use any yogurt, so like a strawberry yogurt or vanilla yogurt, but plain Greek yogurt is usually gonna be the best. And then you can just go ahead and put that on the side of your bowl and make like a little crescent moon shape. And that's basically it. This is something I have for breakfast six days out of seven times a week. So I would highly recommend this. This is very filling, but not bloating. You're getting a lot of protein intake and getting some fruits. Just a lot of things that are healthy and full of fiber and protein, which are going to be good for you and energize you in the morning, which is definitely something you want. So this is definitely a very nice, quick and easy breakfast. With that being said, though, if you enjoyed this recipe, don't be shy and go ahead and leave a like, comment or subscribe. It would let me know you enjoy this video and it would boost it in the algorithm. Thank you so much for watching though and until next time have a beautiful day.